bike for more than a half year with my friend James, man. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we never actually made a video. We made some posts on Facebook and some photos on my Instagram, but like we never actually, you know, like uh, finished the bike to show what we done. So it's like uh, experimenting, changing something, experimenting, changing something. And then we extended the rear axle, so gonna change it, put a new battery, it's more powerful. And then, yeah, there's a lot of things along the way. We actually considered using super capacitors, and then we're like, no, let's just get some high performance LiPo batteries here and drop the weight. So, can you tell us what's happening here, James? Okay, yeah, we've got. Um extremely fast e-bike yeah um, so what's the top speed let's just go straight there bang all right 116 miles an hour and in kilometers and hours 185 yeah what's the top top, top, top speed all right you ready yeah 191 kilometers an hour <laughs> hey guys this is a push bike yeah, yeah. push this. bike <laughs> tires we got pedals here we got everything like yeah. the bicycle brakes a pee -pee. yeah man so this is an electrical bicycle, it's not a motorcycle. We're trying to get a private road so we don't go to jail when we put a video on YouTube showing this bike, right? Yeah, there is a risk he might die, so that's why I'm making a video here. You know, you know the science. So what's happening here at the moment is we prototype things in a heavy way, right? Sometimes you prototype in a very lightweight way, but yeah, it's easier to go with steel so like we extended the, the wheel base this is a downhill frame what's the name of this uh, it's actually a santa cruz hardtail uh santa cruz jackal 2008 model discontinued yeah model. so but, this um, was a beast short. like it can drop from like well, i don't know like four or five meters yeah yeah, yeah. it's what it was a free ride bike type thing but without suspension so, so yeah so this is a super strong frame mm -hmm. and then we just decided to extend this and first i was like no james this is gonna it's gonna crack the frame in half don't do it don't do yeah. it and he's like no i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it it's strong I was like, no, don't do it. We need to make a triangle here. Mm -hmm. We need to make something to brace this thing all the way up there. He's like, no, oh, we just figure out something here. Yeah. The bike ends here. Mm -hmm. And then it extended. Like, what's the... Uh, Four, like, 14 inches extended. 14 inches, eh? Yeah. And then... Clamping dropout I made. Yeah, so you need to hold the hot water. Otherwise, this mm -hmm. thing just spins out and destroys everything. So there's a... See, like, you clamp mm -hmm. here and then you just squeeze the bolt together. Mm -hmm. And this is an additional <laughs> reinforcement here yeah. look how sick this thing yeah. looks eh? more bracing but um the finished version will be probably starting here al alloy of course it's uh, gonna be more like a triangle shape yeah yeah coming all back this yeah. is just yeah it will be with a wheelie bar right wheelie bar yeah so uh, each side what's that like four kilos each They're about yeah almost five kilos uh each, each side is like 10 kilos of, of unneeded weight but you know <laughs> the, the, the reason for the wheelbase is because it just pops a crazy wheelie and you end up on your ass so, <laughs> so the bike is just lifting lifting yeah. my first ride in this bike right so i took the bike i was like full throttle bang and i was like What's happening? Silent. Silent. Okay, Tesla makes noise next to this bike, right? So this is 100% silent. And all I can feel is just like the wind in my face and like, and then when I realized the road was disappearing and then I didn't know what was happening. I was taking off like an airplane, you know, like, I was pulling a wheelie. It was like, I don't know, like a hundred kilometers an hour at that stage. And then I freaked out, you can't tell what's happening. Super fast, super silent, right? So it's very crazy. I made this battery one and a half year ago. It's made with 18650 cells, like this one here. Yeah, it's 196 of them in there. 196, right? Yeah. Inside a stainless steel box. Yes. My mate made the box. He said, oh, James, I made it out of stainless. So I went, oh, thank you. It's gonna wait a fucking ton. <laughs> but, uh, it could be aluminium, yeah. but, but it's yeah. good. And you know what? Contrary to popular belief, it does not hit the fucking ground. Doesn't hit the ground. Everyone's like, ah, oh, this yeah, bike hit the ground. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's got a good clearance there, man. Look. So we're gonna start stripping things yeah. for like drag racing because the Americans are like, oh, what's the quarter mile? The, the oh. bike, that that is on the cards, guys. It definitely is. The bike weighs 63 kilos, which is about. 128 pounds um, for you Americans, but I reckon we can get it 80 pounds. There's a lot of things that are making this bike very, very heavy at the moment. So the battery weight at the moment is the box and all is around about I think 28 to 30 kilos. 28 to 30 kilos. 
Uh, the motor's heavy. Look at the thickness of this. About 4.8 kilos. It's really yeah. thick, man. Yeah? So there's more bars, mm -hmm. like metal bar here. Mm -hmm. Plus he got his stuff, you know, he rides his yeah. bike every day. It's not a racing bike, he rides every day. He got his lights, everything's super heavy. And my God, and all these things, yeah. you know, like, a, you don't you don't need this if you go for racing, no, right? All gonna strip off. So, all right, and then we consider super capacitors. We're going for LiPo, we're gonna put LiPos now. So we're gonna be five little packs like this, right? So this is like a six cells in series here. And then you're gonna be tech, 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 connecting yeah. series for 28 cells in series, which is 117 volts. 117.6 straight after charger will be here. So, just in battery, we're, we're going from, let's say, 30 kilos here down to, to 4.5. Yeah, they're 900 grams each, so. 900 grams each times five, so it's mm -hmm. about 4.5 kilos. Mm -hmm. And yeah, plus we're gonna go on uh, different shocks because we don't need shocks mm -hmm. like this. Like I'll, these are downhill shocks. I'll probably put um, BMX forks on. Yeah. Chrome Molly forks or something like that. Like super light and super strong. Yeah. Extendable base for the. Definitely the you're bar. gonna do the wheelie bar, right? So the you're gonna make it like wheelie. a drag racing, proper drag yeah. racing. Yeah. Starting yeah. from the top here, boom. I reckon all of you guys with super high powered bikes, put a wheelie bar on your bike and you'll find out that you can full throttle off the mark without a wheelie. Because uh, what was your experience before this oh. super long uh, reaxle here? Even so before it was like a, yeah. before it was just uh, like ending about here. It was about, it was about here. Yeah, about there, yeah. right? So, so just look here. So very light throttle, the front wheel will come up like that. And then now that you extend it, what's the experience? Now, I extended it, it, the front wheel comes up easily, but a little bit, not, not like it was before. So I can probably um, give it a bit more throttle, draw more current, and it takes off like a rocket. Um, so basically what I want to do is extend it even further, put the wheelie bar back on, right? Because I had a wheelie bar on it when it was short and it works. So, all right, so we try to get a private road so we don't go to jail when we put a video on YouTube showing this bike, right? 191 kilometers an hour. Well, that's the one we, oh, you, we managed to test. If there was a longer road, you could go maybe a bit more, right? Possibly, possibly. If it's lighter and we squeeze more power, there's a, it's a long process. Just to get the controller settings, it took us six months. Yeah. yeah. Try and error. So, we're like, okay, because this is an unlocked controller. Yeah, here so, you go. Hugo did our settings um, and it was basically um, probably about 10 stages, you know, um, changing the phase amps, changing the, the battery amps. And then we go like at night time, we just go like, hey, let's go and see James and then James will come with the bike, we go for dinner, okay, let's squeeze more yeah. amps here. Squeeze more amps. Okay, ride this thing for a week and see if you explode. All right, <laughs> everything is good. Yeah. Anything hot? Uh, no, we can do more. And then next week. Squeeze a little bit more and and then ride for another week or so. And then next day, like, oh my god, this thing is rocket! We're like, yes! And then ride again. So we did for six months, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. So now we managed to dial this controller. This is not the biggest. We're actually going to put a bigger controller. Yeah, yeah, it's a few more centimeters longer. It's um, it's still the Sabaton. The, the 96120 is what I like. It, um, you can unlock. I'm right. getting one as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get two. Yeah, you get the Sabatons, um, get them unlocked and you've pretty got infinite settings like uh, the new 96120 claims that you can unlock it to 600 battery amps 600 phase amps <laughs> whether it blows up or not who knows but i i just want to max it right yeah this is, is just want to power man yeah fuck yeah um, <laughs> this one's this one's running 300 battery amps 450 phase amps and 200 um field weakening amps so it's absolutely maxed Field weakening. A lot of people don't even know what field weakening is. It's, a, it's black magic. <laughs> Let's say any motor spins at 200 RPM at this battery voltage. With field weakening for AC motors only, okay, you need to have a three phase wires. It just changes the angle of the phase. It makes the motor spin faster, 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 faster. It comes with some inefficiencies. So it, things get hotter, like the controller get hotter, the motor get hotter, but yeah, it does the black magic, man. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, um, it hits top speed. I think it hits top top speed at about 650 meters. Our our job is to get it lighter and hit that top speed at 400 meters. Yeah, um, at least 400. Now, yeah. Otherwise, um, Sean James and uh, Mike Moser, uh, Alan Hu, and a few of the other boys are going to say oh, we're full of shit. There's some options here. So the motor, if we if we're not happy with this performance, maybe get a, a torquey motor, right? So like the copper turns inside, there's a copper coil inside of the motor, right? Many copper coils. So if you do less turns, it's being faster with less torque. So there's, it's always a trade-off somewhere. 
fast. But because we're pumping so much current, we can compensate this less torque. Uh, oh, we're gonna get more heat as well. So there's always a trade-off there somewhere, but we can make this thing spin faster or, and like, it depends what we do. We might end up getting like a different motor just to try and see what we get. Yeah. Oh, it's always fun to mess around with it, you know, work in progress. This is video one because we never made a video. <laughs> and we're going to do video two will be showcasing this. Yeah, we're gonna be comparing to my trike yeah. maybe. Ah! So it'll be very different performance because this bike, it's more like a Tesla with traction control, super smooth, super silent, and right? So my trike is like a screaming V8, out of control, doing a burnout. So it'll be very interesting, up to maybe up to 100 kilometers an hour, I will smash, and that's what I think. Mm -hmm. And then he will take off and like, I'll be just watching like <laughs> hundreds of meters in front of me like that. But the... Um... Because of the field weakening. I don't have this field, I, like my controllers are very crude, very basic. But yeah, in this bike here, like you have like, it's much newer. Like my, my controller is very, it's just like a carburetor. And this is a super, uh, not even full injection, like a Tesla. <laughs> um, the ultimate video will be both of us at Eastern Creek drag, uh, drag trip on the street meets. Yeah, and, it, together. and what's the problem? What's the problem with the going to the, the uh, proper drag yeah, racing? Yeah, so they've got to do, the bike's got to pass scrutineering um, for the racetrack guys to say it's safe to go. Uh, do they even know what the electric bike needs to have to be safe? No, they don't. Um, probably not, but they're gonna, they're, they're, I don't know, who knows, they might gonna say, oh, their bicycle tires, you gotta put on you know, proper motorbike tires or things like anything, I'm not sure. Even I've gotta wear leathers and uh, full face helmet and all things. So we're just waiting on some feedback with them and uh, go from there. We need to take the bike there and yeah. start talking to them and build the bike based on the whatever they want there, you know, like so we're gonna have to change a lot of things there. May, they might even complain about the brakes. Who knows, who knows? But um Oh, they yeah, might be fine. Uh, it'd be really cool if they just say, yeah, you can take for a run now, that'd be great. Yeah, you but know. they get, you know, they have insurance and all this stuff yeah. there, so they can't, you know, they need to, yeah. Alrighty, so let's finish this thing. Man, we're gonna get a bigger controller here, man. So this is just video one, man. We can wait for the second video, man. So we're gonna use LiPo, man. Wow, oh, we didn't talk about this LiPo. So this yeah. LiPo can take up to 650 amps uh, peak and 325 continuous, right? So this tiny little thing here can be a lot of power, man! <laughs> man! Thanks, James! Muscle power, man! James Greek muscle! Ah! Muscle, man! Bang!